Good day and welcome to the biggest religious blunder in the history of mankind, no doubt. Here we see the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. In the small orange box is the Muslim Dome of the Rock, which was supposedly built over top the most holy part of Solomon's Temple, which was called the Holy of Holies. And in comparison to the larger orange rectangle, we see the small green square there. That is a complex which most people today consider to be the remnants of the Roman Fort Antonia. But the truth is that the larger orange rectangle, that is the true remnants of the Roman Fort Antonia. You can see here that the proposed Roman Fort Antonia could surely not house more than 500 soldiers. However, in the time of Jesus in the city of Jerusalem, there was at least a minimum of a legion of soldiers. As we read in Acts 20:23, 20, then he, the commander, called two of his centurions and ordered them, Get ready a detachment of 200 soldiers, 70 horsemen, and 200 spearmen to go to Caesarea at 9 tonight. And that is 470 Roman soldiers for, for accompanying Paul alone whereas a Roman legion in Jerusalem consisted of between 3,000 and 6,000 men. And we can see that this amount of men could never fit inside today's proposed Fort Antonia, that small green square. This is the reality of the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. The large green rectangle is the remnants of the Fort Antonia, Roman fort, which housed all of the soldiers in Jerusalem, and the orange square south of the Temple Mount is the actual location where Solomon's Temple once stood. Solomon's temple built upon the city of David, built upon the Gihon Springs. A very reliable historian named Josephus, he writes, later John Hyrcanus, built a palace north of the temple mount called Berus. Hasmonean princes used this palace and later Herod the Great made it into a citadel. He renamed it Fort Antonia in honor of Marcus Anthony. With great effort Herod built Fort Antonia into a large enclosed area for the Romans to garrison an entire legion along with their auxiliary personnel. The Jewish Wailing Wall and the Muslim Dome of the Rock are today's undeniably mistaken location of the Holy Jewish Temple. Today the whole Temple Mount, outlined in green, is truly just the remains of the large Roman Fort Antonia. The true Temple of Solomon was located over the city of David 
and was completely destroyed in 70 AD and it was built over top of the Gihon Springs. The city of David also known as Zion and Solomon's temple including the Holy of Holies were built over top of the Gihon Springs as we read in Ezekiel 47 1 the man brought me back to the entrance to the temple and I saw water coming out from under the threshold of the temple toward the east for the temple faced east the water was coming down from under the south side of the temple south of the altar the Gihon spring second chronicles thirty two thirty it was hezekiah who blocked the upper outlet of the gihon spring and channeled the water down to the west side of the city of david second chronicles thirty three fourteen afterward he rebuilt the outer wall of the city of david west of the gihon spring in the valley and both Isaiah, Psalms, and Joel all write that, this, that Zion equals the city of David, God's holy mountain, and the house of the Lord. Solomon's temple, the Jewish temple of Yahweh, was built in the city of David over top the Gihon Spring. This is a picture of Jerusalem in 1932. You can see the Dome of the Rock and the south walls of the Temple Mount. But this is the exact location of where Solomon's Temple once stood. The area in the orange square is the city of David, Zion, the exact location of the Gihon Springs and where the Holy of Holies of Solomon's Temple was standing and then dis completely destroyed in 70 A.D. Jeremiah 26 18 this is what the Lord Almighty says Zion will be plowed like a field Jerusalem will become a heap of rubble the temple hill a mound overgrown with thickets and specifically talking about the temple Jesus says in Luke 21 6 as for what you see here, the time will come when not one stone will be left on another. Every one of them will be thrown down. And we can see that even in 1932, the Temple Mount area is filled with giant stone upon giant stone, which completely contradicts what God says in his word. The area in the orange square was completely destroyed. The temple, Solomon's temple, was absolutely brought down to ground level. Not one stone left upon another. The area in the green rectangle is today's Temple Mount. The area in the orange square is Zion, the city of David, and it is also known as Mount Moriah, and very significant things happened on Mount Moriah. The first was when Abraham offered his son Isaac on the altar. The second is where David saw an angel 
of God striking down the Jews because of David's sin of counting his armies and it is the place where David bought the threshing floor from Arauna and it is also the place where David's son Solomon built Solomon's temple we can see that the temple was built just north of the pool of Siloam where Jesus healed the blind man and about the temple G Josephus writes but if we go the other way westward it began at the same place and extended through a place called Bethso to the gate of the Essens and after that it went southward having its bending above the fountain Siloam where it also bends again towards the east at Solomon's pool and reaches as far as a certain place which they called Ophla where it was joined to the eastern cloister of the temple and finally we read in Nehemiah 3:15 he also repaired the wall of the pool of Siloam by the king's garden as far as the steps going down from the city of David. Don't be deceived by thousands of years of tradition and speculation but rather believe exactly what God's Word says about where Solomon's temple once stood on top of the Gihon Spring and be sure to check out Acts 2.38